Hey, how do you fight and kill team? Welcome back, small, tiny individuals. I'm here to tell you about how hurting people works in Kill Team. So let's start with some shooting. And shooting with a young lad, you fire either all weapons that he's currently holding, excluding pistols and grenades, or all pistols that boy has, or all grenades that boy has. For example, the free Tau have drones with two pulse carbines. This means that drone boy can fire one carbine and then the other in the same shooting phase, or overwatch, or whenever you get to shoot, or whatever. Well, once you pick what you're shooting with, you gotta pick who you're shooting at. The enemy. What fucking else is there? Now you want to start throwing bullets. To do this, you check your weapon. Okay, it says two. Whatever number is there is how many dice you roll to hit. Unless it's rapid fire, then you roll double if you're within half range. Bernardo, this one has some kind of math problem on it. What do I do then? That just means you roll a d6 to determine the number of shots. And this one, that means you roll a d6 and you get a half rounding up. That's called a d3. Okay. Moving on now that you have the amount of bullets or plasma or lasers or biogel that you're going to throw, you roll that many dice, look at the boy who is shooting's stat card, yep, you compare your dice to the ballistic skill, or bzz, if it matches or is higher, then it scores a hit, nice, if it's lower, then too bad. Alright, some shots hit the target, now we get to check if the target actually felt anything. Here on the weapon stat line, it has a strength stat. You compare that to the model that you're shooting at toughness stat, and use this handy little chart right here. So, if the strength of the weapon is half or less, then it wins on a 6. If it's just less, then it wins on 5. Yes, very good. If they have the same number, then it wins on 4s. If it's bigger, it wins on 3s. And if it's double or more, it wins on 2s. How easy is that? It's very easy. That is the right answer. Yes, very good. Okay, now the boy that's getting shot at gets to do something. All boys in kill team have a z stat, or a save, it's like their armor or girth. They roll a d6 for every wound they've suffered. If it's more than their save, then they are fine. Nardo, does any effect, anything affect saves, I say drunkily. Yes, of course, young bat creature. On the weapon stat line, they might have a minus value under the AP or armor penetration. You add that negative to make their saving stat bigger, if that makes sense. So if a model has a 3 plus save and takes a wound from a minus 1 AP weapon, they have a 4 up save now for the wound rolls of that weapon. Very easy, very straightforward, very good. Some models might have some other shenanigans to avoid damage. You do those about now, but you can figure those out. They're not hard. And they're just like written right there. Now, is it over? Is the other guy dead yet? Of course not. You now subtract the damage done by the weapon from the model's stat or wounds. If that brings the model to zero, then you get to spin the wheel, or rather roll a number of dice equal to the damage of the weapon. That brought him to zero and take the highest result. On a four, five, or six, the model is dead. That's good. On a one, two, or three, the model is simply injured and goes back to one wound remaining and keeps fighting at reduced hit chances, unfortunately. Well, isn't shooting fun? Sure, but not as good as getting in there in a nice old brawl. It's basically the same fucking shit with different numbers. First, check how many attacks you get under the A stat of the model, also known as attack. A lot of melee weapons add 1 to this. Second, check if it hits with the model's whiz or weapon skill, not the ballistic skill like you did last time. Third, check to see if it wounds. This is a bit different. Check the melee weapon stat line. It has like a plus 1 or a plus 2 or something there under the strength, then you add that much to the model's strength, which is right there, and use that strength to compare it to the other model's toughness like you did before. Easy enough, but usually it'll just say user, where in, in which case you just use the attacking model's strength compared to the victim's toughness. Fourth, you check for it to save. It might have AP, so remember to factor that in. Fifth, you check the injury, same as before, and then you're done. Easy as pie. But Dardo, what if my boy doesn't have any melee weapons? Well, moth under my pillow, in that case, you use the melee weapon that everyone is considered to have, this one. Well, that's all I got for now. I'm sure I've missed plenty, like cover and obscuring shots and terrain between fighting models, but that's okay, don't worry about it. Anyway, like, subscribe, and all those memes unless you don't want to. Feel free to leave a suggestion on things you want me to talk bullshit about. Yeah. Bye!